You might be asking yourself, what is monkey bread? It is a type of bread that is made by baking many small pieces of yeast dough in a pan with either a sweet or savory sauce. And today I'm going to show you how to make some. For this recipe, I'm going to be using my Zojirushi bread maker. I've made monkey bread dough by hand before, but using the bread maker is so much quicker. If you'd like to see the dough being made by hand, there's a link above that you can click to see that process. The monkey bread we are making today is vegan, so we are going to start with one cup of milk. I used coconut, you can use whatever kind you like. And to that I added one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. When using the bread maker for this particular recipe, you do not have to heat up the milk so you can just put it in straight from the fridge. To that we will be adding in a quarter cup of water, one fourth cup of white sugar, and two tablespoons of oil. I prefer using grapeseed oil because it has a very mild flavor. To that I'll be adding two teaspoons of salt, and I'm using Himalayan sea salt. You'll notice that the salt I'm using has a slightly pink tint, and that's because it's actually less processed than regular white salt. It contains trace minerals such as potassium, magnesium, and calcium, and that's part of what gives it its pink coloring. Next, I added two and a quarter cups of white flour and one cup of spelt flour. If you prefer to use all white flour, you can, or you can also replace some of the white flour with whole wheat. And finally, I will be adding two teaspoons of yeast to our mixture. I'll make sure to put this just on top of the flour and that it does not come in contact with the milk. Then it's time to close the lid and pick our setting. I will be using the dough setting on quick. It will take just under an hour for the dough to be kneaded and to have its first rising. And just because I'm curious by nature, I always like to open the lid and see how my dough is doing partway through the kneading. You're probably not supposed to do that, but oh well. I think the prettiest presentation for monkey bread is a bundt pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and grease this really well. I used coconut oil, but you could use butter or margarine or whatever you like. And it's okay to be extra generous here because you want to make sure your monkey bread actually comes out of the pan. Then we're gonna take one cup of white organic cane sugar and to that add one tablespoon of cinnamon and in a separate container, half a cup of milk. It's been about 45 minutes and our dough is mixed and proofed. Our cinnamon sugar mixture is ready and we have a bowl here with some milk. We're gonna grab a small piece of dough, roll it into a ball, and then we're gonna go ahead and drop it into the milk. You want to make sure that your dough balls are not too big because they will rise a fair bit in size. Once we've got a bunch of those made and we've given them a little bit of a milk bath, we are now going to coat them in the sugar and cinnamon mixture. So we're just gonna go ahead and drop them in and get them all covered in cinnamon and sugar, which will be super delicious once they bake. Now between the milk and the cinnamon and sugar mixture, this is gonna get a little bit messy. So if you don't wanna use your hands, you can always use a spoon to coat them. Once they are well coated, we will go ahead and drop them into our prepared pan. And then we are going to continue to repeat that process until you've used up all your dough. If you find that you run out of cinnamon and sugar mixture, you can always make yourself a little bit more if you need it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the dough and just do this in fast forward. Once you are finished forming the dough, you're going to go ahead and place the pan into a preheated oven for about 30 minutes until nearly doubled in size. You will then bake your monkey bread at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes until lightly golden browned on top. And this is what your monkey bread should look like when it comes out of the oven. It's almost done, but you need to add one more thing to make it perfect. Mix half a cup of icing sugar and one tablespoon of milk together and drizzle it over your monkey bread once you have flipped the monkey bread onto a platter to cool. This is one of the best desserts I have ever tasted or that has ever been invented. I hope you'll try it and let me know how delicious you think it is. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you next Wednesday in another chore with me. Until then, stay motivated.